Hello. My name is Father Rinaldi. It's so good to be with you once again. Father Rinaldi, who is the uh, associate pastor at, um, at St. Anthony's in Wilmington, Delaware. These readings uh, this week I found to be something of a challenge. In the beginning, in the first reading, in the Old Testament, God comes to his people. A God who may, may have seemed to be quite distant from his people. All of a sudden, it's so to speak, he comes on stage. I have seen that you are suffering. Therefore, I have come down to rescue you. I am the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. He comes on stage before his, his Hebrew people to announce he is their God. He's, to claim, he's claiming them as his people. And he says, this is my name. Thus I am to be remembered through all the generations. I am who am, Yahweh. The people are in great distress. They are a slave people. They have no life of their own. And he, at this point, sees that they are ready to recognize him as a people who comes to be their savior. Save them from slavery. Through the ages, we have received the true God as our God. He's the one and only God. All other things claim our attention. We want to have center stage in our life. And in a sense, they want to be, those things want to claim to be God in our life. Sometimes they are. Sometimes the things we own, own us. But there truly is only one, one wondrous and loving God. He is far more powerful, far greater than the things that are around us. And he's a generous God. Things around us, or even people around us, might give for a little while, but it's only for a little while. He has been our help through the ages. To everyone who has gone to him, he has embraced them and has listened to them. As he is the true God, we remain true to him. As he is our God, we are his. We drink from the fountain that Jesus the Christ, that is Jesus the Christ, and not from the fountain that is the, the ordinary inordinate desires of this world. What gives us life? It's what feeds us. It's with whom those things or people with whom we uh, spend our daily life. We, of course, have to be with our work, involved in uh, physical things, involved in material things. But if every once in a while we turn to the Lord, we thank the Lord for the goodness he's given to us. We ask him for help in the difficult situations that we face, the things that worry us and bother us. We say to him, dear Lord, please be with me. Be my strength. The Lord will be always there for us. If God is the source of our life, we produce good fruit. If this world or the devil is the source of our life. We produce evil or worldly things. With whom do we spend our lives? What's the company we go with? What do we let fill our minds and our hearts? That's the kind of a person we're going to be. That's what's going to inter inter um, uh, help produce the, kind of the quality of action the words that we say, the moods that we have. If it's the Lord, how good it will be. If it's not the Lord, the good fruit won't be there. Thank you very much for being with me today. And I ask the dear Lord to be with you, to be with us all. 
so that gradually more and more we are his because he is living in us because we open our lives to him each and every moment.